Ubuntu is a user-friendly version of Linux. We often recommend this virtual machine to beginners because of its friendlier interface. Setting up this program is similar to Kali Linux. To access this machine, go to the Download Virtual Machines lesson located in this unit. You'll be directed to a Google Drive that contains the Ubuntu file. Next, you're going to download the file. It will take a few minutes for this virtual machine to be downloaded. When it's done downloading, you're going to unzip the file, similar to Linux. Now, open VirtualBox. Click on the blue star icon called New to create a new virtual machine. Name this new machine Ubuntu. Under Version, select Ubuntu 64-bit. Next, change the memory size from 1024 MB to 2048 MB. Under Hard Disk, select Use an existing virtual hard disk file. Click the folder icon, then select Add. Locate the 64-bit folder that you unzipped moments ago. Select the Ubuntu 64-bit. If you have two folders with the same name, but one has a number attached to it, don't be concerned. It's how your computer separates the two files in the same location. Click Choose. Then create to build the Ubuntu virtual machine. The Ubuntu details should be present. Next, go to Settings on the top panel. Select Display and change the video memory from 16 MB to 128 MB. Click OK to save these new settings. Now you're going to start Ubuntu. Click the green arrow to start. The Ubuntu machine box should appear. When the virtual machine is finished loading, you'll be presented with a login screen. Insert this information, username, ozboxes.org, password ozboxes.org When you're logged in, you should be on the home screen. You might notice that we have similar screen problems as Kali Linux. So you'll have to download VirtualBox guest editions again. But before that, you'll have to update the operating system. Click on Activities, located on the upper black bar. Type Terminal, and the Terminal app should come up. Type the command, sudo apt get update. This command will ask for a password. This is the same password used to log in. So, enter ozboxes.org. As you type the password, the terminal might not show your password, but it's taking in the input. Now, you must upgrade the operating system. Use the command sudo apt get upgrade. This upgrade will take several minutes. When it's done upgrading, you should reboot the machine. Use the reboot command. After you reboot the machine, you need to install VirtualBox Guest Editions. When you log in again, the terminal should be present in front of you. On your computer's upper taskbar, select Devices. Then select Insert Guest Editions. There should be a pop-up asking to run this program. Click Cancel. Now you're going to ask Linux to install the Guest Editions package to integrate with its operating system. This command is sudo apt install build essential DKMS Linux headers $unamr. Once this package is done downloading, you're going to learn more technical Linux commands. The first command that you'll be using is sudo mkdir p slash mount slash cdrom. sudo is a super user command. It gives you admin privileges. 
NK Dyer asks Linux to create a new directory for you. P or hyphen P creates a parent and subdirectory. Slash mount or forward slash mount is the parent directory. Slash C drum is the subdirectory. Now, you'll tackle the next command, the mount command. Again, sudo gives you admin privileges to download software packages and make file changes. The mount command allows you to attach store devices to specific locations within the directory tree. This means you're going to access the files in the virtual box guest edition CD that's displayed on your home screen, which is located in the dev CDROM folder. To access these files, you're going to mount it to the directory you created in the last command. You're going to attach the VirtualBox Guest Edition CD to the directory listed in the last command. The resulting command is sudo mount slash dev slash cdrom slash mt slash cdrom. Now you're going to use the CD or change directory command to navigate to the directory that you use to mount the VirtualBox Guest Edition CD to. This command is cd slash mount slash cdrop. Next, you're going to use the ls or list command. This command lists all of the contents within a folder. This ls command listed all the files within the mount slash cdrop folder. Now, we're going to use the sh command to execute scripts within the terminal. You'll be executing the vbox linux editions dot run script. This command will execute virtualbox guest editions for you. The final command is sudo sh dot slash vbox linux editions dot run. If this program doesn't reboot when it's done, you must reboot the terminal to make sure that the updates take place.